then get out of that car. It's, it's just a driving lesson. Will you, will you shut up? Driving lesson. For what? With who? Um, he, he's, he's just, um... I don't care who this man is or what he is, okay? Excuse now, me. get into my car. Right? <laughs> Excuse me. What seems to be the problem here? My friend, there would be a problem if you get into this trash you call a car and drive away from here. You what understand? exactly this seems to me to me. Come on, stop this. Who are you? Listen to me. If you insult me, I'll beat you black, blue, indigo. Do you understand me? <laughs> get into my car. Please, I want to know. Are you the husband or the father? I are you trying to insult me? It's okay, yeah, it's okay. okay. Are you trying to, you trying okay. to insult Listen, me? Listen, Listen, let me tell you. I don't want to know where you are. Just get the car and drive off of this place. Nobody wants to hear. You don't know how I never know you would her. You don't know which I don't want to know where you are. It's okay. Let's go. Before I count three. Get into that car now. Emily! Are you out of your mind? You're the one who's out of his mind. Just because. You're doing something good for someone Just because You're helping someone Whoa. out Okay, uh, fine. Yes, yes. Yeah, don't greet me. Don't greet me. Lock up this shop and hand over the keys to me now. Ah, okay, Frank, uh, I don't understand, I sir. Lock up this shop and hand over the keys right now. Sir, sir, sir. What's the problem? So, so you now arrange boys for your sister. Know fully well what my intentions are, right? Me, sir. Lock up this shop. So this is how you want to pay me back? No, no sir. Please. After my kindness to you people. No, no. Huh? Anyway, since you. Can now arrange boys with cars for your sister. You might as well arrange another shop for yourself. Lock up the shop. Yeah. Okay, Frank, please. I'll, I'll beg. I said, I'm shop, my friend. Where is the key? Okay, Frank, you don't have to do this. Mama, you needed to have seen the way he was shouting at me as if I was a criminal. Mama, you need to tell him that, Tony. He's your brother's best friend. Why are you talking as if you don't know Frank? He didn't let me say anything, Pip! Has ah. he been here? Ah. Who? who? Mm. Why is your face like this? Is he not Frank? Is he not Frank? He came to the shop sh shouting on top of his voice as if I've done something wrong. Ah. Overseeing me with Tony, I suppose. Mm. Uh, exactly. He came, he said I should lock the shop, then he collected the keys from me. Yeah? Ah. You are not serious. You mean Frank? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Have you gathered your things? Please. Have you packed your things? Please, my son, calm down. Hmm? Let's discuss. I don't want to discuss anything. I want you to put out of this place and the keys handed over to me. That's all. I thought I explained. Why don't you shut up? Oh, uh, that's why you, you don't have to go to this lab now. Please, please, my son. So, you people please. sent Evelyn to go and learn how to drive a car. So that you will drive in this car. Please. Eh? Please. Eh? It, it, it wasn't anything serious. It was just for fun. It was for fun. When you are selling bread, why didn't you learn how to drive a car? It, it is nice. When your landlord was chasing you out, why didn't you teach her how to drive a car? It's my fault. I should have stopped it. But please forgive us all. I have said my own. Please. You people must leave this house latest tomorrow. That's all. You can't be serious. There is no way you'll make me believe you're serious. To be honest with you, I don't have anything to do with Tony. It was just a driving lesson. Even if you were, are you a slave? Who does he think he is? Oh, man, that guy, should, that guy should just go to hell. The most annoying thing is that my mother supports him. And even said that she can apologize to him. For what? Eh? Look, girl. If I were you, and I'm dying, I need him to bring me back to life. I would not do it. For what? Ha -ha. This is too humiliating. No, no. Kate, I don't have a choice. Do you know he locked Paul's shop? And threatened to stop training me in school. Do you know that? God. This kind of kindness I don't understand. 
you would have been better off without him. Who does he think he is? Look at you, living in fears over what you don't even know. No, 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 this is too humiliating. Man, that guy should just go to hell and rot away. You don't need him. I don't know what to do. Honestly, I don't. My son, it is not as if Paul is trying to push his friend at evening. You see, Tony is somebody we have known right from the time he was a child. He's more of a family friend. He's a family friend? Yes. You see, the problem is that you people have no regards for me at all. Okay, come to think of it. After Evelyn learns how to drive your car, whose car will she be driving? Tell me. Uh, it, it is not something serious. It's just something casual. That is not the answer to my question. I said, after Evelyn, your daughter, must have learned how to drive a car, whose car will she be driving? Okay. You will have sent Evelyn to learn how to drive a car so that you can find her a man that will buy her a car. No. Okay? No. Uh, hey. A car for what, man? Well, you see, this is my problem when it comes to helping people. Yes. When things were down for you people, your family ran away. Where were your friends? But I stepped in and gave and made sure food was on your table. I gave you a home. I gave you a new means of livelihood. And now you people have sent Evelyn to learn how to drive a car. Okay, oh, that friend, now, it's okay. Now, now, it's, okay it's, it's okay. Anyway, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, before I change my mind, okay? Before I change my mind, you people must accept that. Whatever decision that was taken in that house that I paid for with my money must be done with my consent. Am I understood? We will always consult you. Am I understood? Yes. We will always consult you. I promise. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm saying it again. Before I change my mind, you people must accept that whatever decision you must take in that, especially you, Evelyn, Oga Frank, especially you, okay, especially it's you. Okay, now it's okay, Oga Frank. It's okay, sir. It must be done with my consent. Yes, we accept. We are sorry. Okay. It will not happen. It won't happen again. Yes, it won't. It won't happen again. Yes. It's all right. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's the problem. I came into the neighborhood for some business, so I decided to pop in and see people. Um, by the way, is Evelyn out? No, she went out. Went out? Yes. To where? Um, actually, she has gone to return something I borrowed from a friend. Uh, that means uh, she's supposed to have been back a long time ago. Maybe she branched over to where they normally have their examination preparation class. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, All right, bye bye. Madam, how much is your bonita? Tin tomato. Bonita is thirty naira. Uh, bonita is twenty five naira now. No, it's thirty naira. Oh, you yeah, give me two. At least you sell two for fifty five naira. Okay, bring two. Then uh, how much will you sell it? This one is fifty naira. Twenty naira. Hello, Frank. Devlin, where are you? I'm somewhere around. Somewhere near the house. I just dropped by to pick something. You are very near the house. Your mother said you went to uh, uh, pick up something for her. Now you're telling me you're very near the house. Who am I supposed to believe? I, I, I finished my mother's errand, yes, but I just dropped by to buy something because Paul gave me money to make stew for him. That business you're doing, is it in, in a parlor? How come I'm not hearing noise around you? Ah. 
And Okada just passed. Now, 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 now. Did you hear the horn? Are you the only person doing that business? Okay, let me talk to the, to the person you are doing business with. So you don't believe me? I said, my friend, give the person the phone, let me talk to the person. Hold on. Madam, I beg, follow the person where they talk. Tell them what you need to do. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Ah, uh, good afternoon. Uh, what do you need to do, sir? I deal with my customer. Now, tomato, she won't help me buy. Ah, uh, now, tomato and pepper, they sell. Uh. Okay, so say better one for them. No cheat them. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Hello. I hope you are satisfied now, Abby. Madam, please give me, give me. How much is it? The girl is beautiful. Am I not the one supplying what's making her look beautiful? She's looking beautiful. Frank, what's your problem? Why are you boasting? Can't you see that that girl she's naturally pretty? You know how that? Yeah. Yeah, like you. You're on your side now. Fine. See the happen. You know that. Frank. Huh? Funny one. Is it today you knew Collins? Come and tell me what you have to tell me. I want to tell me what you have to tell me. I need some money to buy past question papers and I don't have clothes now. and my clothes are I need to I need new clothes. What what do you mean you, you don't have clothes? Do you know, I've been wearing the ones you bought for me and I don't want people to start. Oh, so you now care about what people say about you? When you used to sell bread, how many clothes did you have? How, how much is, uh, is the question paper? paper? 2,650. I'll give you the money for that. Go and wash uh, clothes I have in the bathroom. Go, go, go. I want to discuss business with colleagues. What's new clothes? The one more. Hey, Chineke. Frank, you will never change. Eh? What? You've been too hard on that girl. What do you expect me to do? Hand over my wallet. Frank, for God's sake, she's submissive enough to come to you for, for clothes. Instead of going to other men. Now, listen, listen. That girl is very pretty. If she begins to dress fine now, men will troop after her, and that's what I don't want. <laughs> so, in other words, you want her to be dating? Exactly. Frankie, she's a couple of. This is Lagos, so. Bad guys, do they believe it? These not clothes you're wearing. I know now, but I, be, I keep repeating them every day, every day, every day. I'm ashamed of them. See, evening. 
these days, market has not been encouraging. Hmm? And, and you know, there's no way I can take anything out of this show without informing our friend. You know now. Hmm? Just 1,500 naira. Okay. Is that what you want? Yes, I already have 1,000 naira. <coughs> Let's see. 1,005. So when are you going to your lesson? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. So you can make the okay? Thank you very much. Let me go now. Alright. Bye bye. So when you get home, tell my mother I will get those things you told them. Okay. Bye bye. Alright. Ah. <coughs> to know I bought it myself. Paul gave me the money to buy it. Really? Yes. Have you done Frank? Ah, what is that? Must I tell him everything? So if I should buy a pen now, we'll tell him, okay, Frank, I bought a new buy Please, that is by the side. How do I look? You look beautiful and radiant. Thank you. Can we go? <laughs> look at the game. Why are you dressed like this? What is wrong with what I'm wearing? You're exposing your laps and your chest and you're telling me there's nothing wrong with what you're wearing. What are laps? me there's nothing wrong with what you're wearing. What are laps? My friend, will you shut up? I wasn't asking you. Frank, that wasn't necessary talking to Alan. By the way, who gave you money to buy this rubbish? Paul, Paul, Paul gave me money. Paul gave you money to buy this? This is what that boy does. Instead of him concentrating on his business, he's busy, he's busy buying bu buying clothes for girls. I said, get into the car, my friend. Something good to someone Just because You're helping someone out Doesn't mean You will be a God For God will help Who He wants to help With or without you Just because you find yourself in a position to help someone. You now feel that without you. Uh, Madam, good day. I want to know if I'm no longer needed in this house. Uh, Evelyn, what happened again? So it's now Paul. Who knows what's best for Evelyn? In other words, I'm a fool. Please calm down. Tell me what's happened. So it is Paul who now knows how and when to buy clothes for Evelyn. Instead of that, to face his business, 
He's busy buying clothes for girls. But my spawn, not my senior brother. Can't he buy, buy, buy clothes for girls? No, 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 buy again. Just shut up. Don't you know that Frank is right? Oh. Hmm? From buying clothes for you, he will now transfer to other girls on the street. Eh? Uh -huh. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to have a word with that young man. Let me see him. Mama, why are you always supporting this man, eh? Even when you know he's arrogant and insultive. My dear, I am not a fool. It is not as if I don't know what I am doing. But you see, it is poverty that has tied my hands. If I stand up to him and he decides to pass off your division, where will that leave us? Without you, it wouldn't have been possible. Sometimes in the night, I break down and shed tears of joy. Eh? Despite all odds, Mama Grace, eh? my daughter will be going to the university. Hey! Even me, twice I've done Thanksgiving in church now. It's indeed a blessing. Uh, yes, so. Eh? There's nothing we've not done. We've gone for Thanksgiving in the church. You, you know, and that's okay. that's, that is why I have come here today. Eh? To say thank you very much. It's okay. It's, okay. Hi. And, uh, it's good news. I mean, it's what I've always wanted for Evelyn. Uh, so now it has come. I have no choice but to continue, you know, footing the bills. Ah, uh, no, no, no. The responsibility will not be on you alone. Uh, Paul and I. Eh? We will contribute no matter how little. Ah, there's no contribute. You see, it's always good to be good. Yes. Yes. I mean, I like helping people. Mm -hmm. Ever since I've been helping people, God has blessed my business. Eh? Yes. <laughs> so, there's no problem. I'll continue paying our school fees. I'll continue for some Hey! God, we thank you. No hey! We will be going, eh? Yeah. Uh, Everything, uh, as soon as uh, you see me tomorrow, eh? okay. so that uh, we know your plans towards getting into school. Right? I'll do that. Too. All right, thank, thank you very much. Good night. All right, that's all right. Thank so, you very much. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, sir. All right, bye bye. Hey, thank you. What's up, man? How far? Well, I know fine. I said I know fine. How do you know? What's the problem? Evelyn got admission to read banking and finance at the university. So? <laughs> Congrats, man. You should be happy. Well, why, should, why should I be happy? See, I, I know that girl is very intelligent, but I didn't expect her you know, to pass jam once, just like that. You're talking like one of those village men. Oh, Your girl got an admission to read banking and finance and you're, you're not happy? I'm afraid. Bro. See, when that girl gets into the university now, her eyes will open. You know, she'll meet all these baby guys. You understand? And self-confidence. That is what you lack. You see, anything can happen. Okay, check all the money I spent on the girl now. Check out. Frank, you know your problem. You have an attitude problem. That is Yeah, uh, I have attitude problem. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. When you are in a position to help someone, do it with humility. For God has put you there, and He has the power to use whoever. Ah, uh, Frank, you've not gone to bed. 
but I can't sleep. Why? This girl hasn't called me for days now, man. Who? Evelyn now. Don't tell me that it's because of Evelyn that you've not gone to bed. See, each, each time I call her, her phone is always switched off. Can you imagine? Frank, just today that I decided to come to your place and spend the night, you're becoming dramatic. That girl is, is with the man. Jesus I know it. Christ. I can feel it. Frank, it's 11 o'clock in the night. You just have to go to bed and have some rest instead of thinking of a particular girl. I'm going to pay that girl a visit. Eh? I'm going to see her now. Frank, yes. Are you out of your mind? Mm. They wouldn't even open the gate for you. Just because you're doing something good to someone. Just because you're helping someone out. Why haven't you called me for four days now? And why is your phone always switched off each time I call you? I lost my phone. How could you misplace your phone? Okay, at least you know my number off heart, so why haven't you called me? I have to do my same today. And I said I was going to call you tomorrow. With which phone? I thought you said you lost your phone. Hey, believe me, I just retrieved my phone today and I was going to call you tomorrow now. Don't believe me. A friend of mine gave me her phone to use. A friend of yours gave you her phone? Or his phone? Because he or she is what? A millionaire? Let me see the phone. Come bring out the phone. I want to see the phone. Until I see the person who gave you this phone, I'm not going to give it to you. No, you can't do that now. Then you have something to hide. I'm not hiding anything now. Listen, I said, until I see the person that has this phone, I'm not giving it to you. Oh, it's too late for this thing. My friend, I don't want to hear anything, okay? I'm not giving you that phone until I see the person who owns it. She only gave it to me to use for a few weeks now. And she said it's either I return it or I pay for it. Then let, let me see her. Let me see her. She said she won't do such a thing. Now, Frank, what is all this now? You're embarrassing me. Shut child. up. Oh, so they thought you had to challenge me, right? Oh, I'm not. You thought I'd challenge me. I'm not challenging you. I, I'm just saying you should try and understand. You want me to understand? You want me to understand? Listen to me. I won't understand until I see the person who has that phone. And let me tell you, I'll stop paying your school fees if I don't see that person. Hey, Frank, what is all this now? I don't like all these things now. Why now? Uh -uh. That, that was how we were moving on the road. You, you were, your head was turning. You were looking at flashy cars it's everywhere. Which flashy, flashy car cars. again? Which flashy car? I wasn't looking at any flashy car. I thought I didn't see you. I wasn't looking at any flashy car. Oh, Frank, I see, I, I'm getting, I, I don't like all these things. Uh, uh, if really you are, uh, 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 I'm a woman for crying out loud. If really you said you want to marry me now, I deserve some respect from you. Me, respect you. Me, respect you. What, 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 what are you doing like this now? What is it now? You think I'm joking with you?
Hello? Excuse me. Are you a... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, was that your brother or husband? Something? Well, whoever he was, he doesn't have a right to treat you like that. Listen, I, I, I could give you help in lift to wherever you're going. Okay. Still crying? Oh, come on, wipe your tears. You're okay. It's okay. See, you're the kind of girl every man hopes for. I wonder what you're doing with that kind of guy around you. A guy who thinks he can just mess you up at any time. What are you doing with that kind of guy? Huh? Anyway, is this where you live? Yes, I stay at the back flat. It's a hostel. Hmm. Um, can I have your number so I can call you later to see how you're doing? That's the reason why we were arguing. He seized my phone. That's bad. Anyway, um, I really want to call you later to see how you're doing. Okay? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just don't bother. I'll be okay. And we have to run along then. Don't, don't worry, I'll, I'll be fine. Don't bother calling me. It's okay. Thank you. Take good care of yourself, huh? Bye-bye. So, Evelyn, you mean that guy took your phone and now asked you out of his car? Is he mad? Hey, my. It, in short, I have known that guy from time. He's had, he has always been like that. Hey, <laughs> they never burn that my way go. Call my phone. Come to me, come off in car. How that one can take happen now? The truth of the matter is that Evelyn here is too soft. In short, too a fault. <laughs> Simply tell this man to go to hell. You girls don't understand. It's because of my mother I'm taking all this rubbish from Franco. How does it concern your mother? The man pays my school fees. He pays the rent in the house. He started a business for my brother. He put food on our table. Mm -hmm. And how did so? Evelyn, so? Even if he's Messiah. So he can just humiliate and harass you and embarrass you anytime he feels like? Is he your husband? Even if Maybe. he is. Even if he is. Husbands treat their wives with so much love and care. Especially if the wife is in school. Uh -uh. Do you know my mother wants me to marry him? Your mother <laughs> should marry him instead. What? Marry that, that thing. <laughs> Everything is not all right. Eh? Please come. Please, come. What is it? Evelyn. I had to come as soon as I heard the shocking news. Eh? Frank said that he's no more sponsoring your education. So it's because of Frank you came all the way from the house. Evelyn, did you just hear what I said? Eh? 
If Frank removed his hand from training you, who, who, who do we have? Evelyn, please. Please, see my knees on the ground. We must go and beg him. Mama, me, I am not going to go and beg anybody. Frank is not my God. If it is the will of God that I will not go to school, then let it be. Me, I'm sick and tired of Frank disturbing my life. I can't go ah, and beg him. No, 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 Evelyn, no. don't talk like this now. Uh, no, in fairness to him, he has been very kind to us. Eh? And it has always been my dream that after you graduate, both of you will wait. Hmm. With the way he's treating me, God forbid. I can't. Do it. I will not go and beg him because I did not do anything wrong. Evelyn, please now. Eh? Mommy, I'll not go. Please now. Mama, I can't go anywhere. Evelyn, have mercy on me now. Mommy, eh? I said I won't go. I didn't do anything wrong. I won't go anywhere. Ah. supposed to come here. I don't want a relationship. Well, I, I just stopped by to say hello and see how you're doing. I'm not actually looking for a girl to have rendezvous with you. Then why are you here? I shouldn't have allowed you to give me that lift that way. People should just leave me alone, please. I shouldn't have given you a lift the other day? Yes. Well, I have and your face has always been on my mind. Alongside other hundreds of faces you see and fall for every day. Why don't you leave that to time? Anyway, that's not why I'm here. Then why are you here? I thought I asked you that now. Why are you here? I uh, remember how you felt the last time I dropped you off. See, you don't really deserve to be treated like that. I feel you, should, you deserve a better treatment. I mean, I, I feel what you need is tender, loving care. That's why I brought you this. One moment. It's also for you. But why would you give me a phone when you don't even know me? Well, I don't have to know you to be nice to you. All that matters to me is how I feel about you. I... want you to be happy. Not downcast by the folly of a man who th thinks he can treat you anyhow. I've, I've never been given this kind of gift before. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, anytime. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't intend to take much of your time though. I'll give you a call. Take care of yourself, right? misunderstandings we've been having. But your allegations against me are not true. 
I won't cheat on you. I don't have any reason to. And they expect me to believe you just like that. Do I live within your school? Isn't it that your school that men drive in and pick girls anyhow they want? And you want me to believe you? Oh, please. Hmm? These are my friends. Do you know, Kate? We grew up together. This is Gladys. They're my best friends. I brought them here so that they can bear me witness. I can't cheat on you. Everything you've changed. True. You have changed. And the most painful thing is that you have forgotten who you were and where you were before I met you. You were just a dirty bread seller on Friday. Oh, please, street and... you don't have to you don't have to tell my whole life history in front of my friends. What's there to hide? What's there to hide? Frank, that is not necessary. Eh? Even here has already told us that she's sorry for the friction she has caused you in this relationship. So chill. Evelyn is truly sorry. She loves you. You can just see it written clearly on her. This whole thing has been giving her restless days and sleepless nights. She loves you. Uh, listen, I want Evelyn to realize that whatever boyfriend she thinks she has in that school, me and the person were not in the same rank. Yes, because I know where I picked this idiot from. Frank. Yes, am I lying? Is it true? You could barely eat. Her brother Paul, I will open the business for that boy and I still make sure that business functions still days. They were ejected from their house. I was the one who made sure there was another roof they, 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 could, they, could, they could live under. And, and, and now you're, 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 you're talking grammar. Nonsense. You've tried. You all know. It's very marvelous of you, Frank. Thank you. God will surely bless you for all those things that you've done. But Evelyn here will surely make you a very good wife, God's willing. Look, all I just want to know now is who has that phone I took from Evelyn? Yes. And why she's always looking at flashy cars each time she's with me? I want to put Mr. Give her that phone, no? Calm, calm down. It's okay. Calm, calm down. Calm down. You're taking this whole thing too far. There's nothing to eat. Owning a phone in school is a piece of cake. Yes! Piece of cake. Yes. yes and uh, as you know, Evelyn truly loves you. She, she... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> What's wrong, Kate? Sorry, sorry. Let me get you a glass of water. Sorry. Sorry. <coughs> Frank, Evelyn, <coughs> Evelyn truly loves you. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. <coughs> sorry, sorry. <coughs> sorry. 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 What kind of rubbish is this now? What kind of rubbish is this now? Frank, it was just a mistake. Ah! What kind of mistake My is that? God! Frank, but it was just an accident now. What, what, kind, what kind of accident is that? Yes. Everybody makes mistakes. Mistake? Do, do you know how much I, I, I bought this glass in China? Do you know? Excuse me, young man. Even if it costs a human head. <laughs> God! Get yourself out of this house. You're too barbaric. Me, barbaric. Excuse me. Okay. All right. See the kind of people you brought into my house to come and fight me. These idiots. Okay. Pack these glasses. Now, now, now. Piece by piece. Your mother must see how the girl I want to marry, the girl I'm spending all my money on, wants to destroy all my properties. Even before marriage. Back them now. Nonsense. Frank. Okay. Who do you think you are? It's a guinea. I said, who on earth do you think you are, Frank? I want to know what you take yourself as, Frank. How much money do you have, Frank? And how much education do you have to humiliate me like this even in front of my friends, Frank? So, you have now grown wings to question me. Huh? Evelyn, eh? It may pin, hmm? it may pin to God. I will skin you alive. If you lay a finger on me, I will fight you and render this entire building useless. 
Did you hear me? I said if you lay a finger on me, Frank, I would. Okay, all right. All right. So your friends have now taught you how to fight me. Hi. Evelyn, I will make you suffer. I will make you and your family suffer. Hey, man, you know me. Frank. Yes. The reason why I've been swallowing all the rubbish from you is not because I am weak, but because of my loving, sweet, poor mother. Yes. Yes, I was a bread seller when you met me. But Frank, a bread seller with difference. A bread seller with pride. It was my brilliance that attracted me to you. And that same brilliance got me into the university and not your money. Do you know what? To hell with you. To hell with your money. And to hell with everything to help with this house and to help with everything you think you ever own. Evelyn. Do you know what? As far as I'm concerned, you and a trillion others like you do not exist anymore. Let me explain you. It's okay. <laughs> you, your mother, and Paul must give me all the money I've spent on you, Evelyn. It's all right. It's okay. Evelyn, you told him what? You said what? So the only hope we have in this family. Mama, please. I am sick and tired of you shoving down rubbish down my throat. Hey, Evelyn. You don't have to go back and apologize to me. God forbid, I will not do that. You can't can do that, Mama. You're very good at that. Hey. Mama, let me tell you, I do not need him or his money ever again in my life. Hey. If God cannot see me through school, so be it. If I perish, I perish. Then I will know it's not my destiny to succeed. Hey. Evelyn, let me come back here. Come back here. You don't know what you're doing. Just because you don't know what you're doing. You're doing something good to someone. Just because. I said get out. I said get out from here. Get out of where? I said my mother is not at home. You are not going anywhere. You get out. She's not at home. Go home. Get out. Yeah. Yes. It's okay. All right. I want you to calculate and refund to me all the money I spent on you. Hmm. Two. You people are leaving this compound. I've already informed the landlord. Three. Tell Paul, your brother, to evacuate that shop. I'll give it to somebody more reasonable. Hmm. Yes, and you have one week to do that, though. One week. Ooh, I'm shaking, Frank. Can't you see? I'm so scared. I'm shaking. Will you get out of this place? Get out of this place. You don't need anymore. Go, 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 go. Go! We don't need you anymore. Evelyn. Rubbish. Evelyn. All right. Okay. Evelyn. Just because you're doing something good to someone Just because you're helping someone out Doesn't mean you were their God For God will help Who he wants to help With or without you Just because you find yourself in a position to help someone, you now feel that without you, they cannot leave or exist. But you forget that God helped you So you can be of help to others Instead of your pride And your playing God Believing that you are all in all
and my God guide me through this darkness my actions and thoughts are impure temptations abound and this difficult time is blinding me I just realized that you're my only strength and besides you no other exists you are my riches and my provider you don't mind my sins because you have called me your child. Before me is success and failure. But I have chosen to succeed. I shall look to no man but you. Guide me through this darkness, O oh Lord. Yes! Oh, good. Oh. Hello. Hi. Good day. Good day. Um, is Evelyn around? Oh, no, she went out. Hmm. I would love to see her if she's not far away. Maybe uh, I should wait? Mm -mm, I wouldn't advise you to do that. One, she's far away, and secondly, I don't think she's in a good mood to see anybody right now. Well, that's more reason for me to come in and wait for her, you know? Uh, 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 I wouldn't advise you to do that. Right now, I was just on my way out. And I, it's not possible I leave you inside. So maybe you wait outside. But I want to go get some water. Mm. Uh, the tap here is really dry. Well, so how far is this place you're going to fetch the water from? Um, about two, three streets away from here. Fine. Well, why don't you just pack your jerry cans and that of Evelyn into my boots? I'll be glad to give you a helping hand. Really? Oh. Why not? That's so nice of you. Thanks. So I just wait and get the jelly pants. Yeah. Yeah, this one's full. Thank you. Yeah. The one who bought her the phone and the teddy bear. Oh yes, but I've been trying that number and it's been out of service. Um, she hasn't started using it yet. Why? She doesn't have another phone. Um, um, you explain where she sees you outside. All right then. Yes. Do have a nice day. Yes. I'll call back. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'll tell her you drop back. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Ah, such a nice, 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 nice. Collins, that girl is finished. True. She's finished. She's done for. I'll see to that. Okay. Frank, you shouldn't have gone that far as you told me. Seizing the phone and slapping her in front of her friends for God's sake. Listen, you don't know that girl like I do. I mean, you should have seen the way she was talking to me. Can you imagine? I mean, Evelyn was getting out of hand. She was getting out of hand. You are the one getting out of hand, Frankie. You slapped, you mocked and reduced her to nothing. Not in private, but in front of her friends. Listen, listen. I had to put fear into her. That's what I had to do. Okay, look at it now. I told you, by allowing that girl to go to school, fire will get into her eyes. She got your eye. 
You should have seen the way Evelyn talked to me. She don't hear her. Your fear that the worst will come from her is false. Because the, the worst is actually coming from you. Uh, she will come back. Listen, by the time the money I gave her finishes, herself, her mother, her brother, they will come back begging. That girl is pretty, you know. At least you said so yourself. So what makes you think that other men out there are as blind as you imagine? Listen, by the time the money I gave her finishes, she will come back. Um, yes, she must come back. I'll tell you something, Frank. Let me give you one piece of advice. Stop wearing the shoes of God because they are too big for you. Tell me you're still crying. What is it? That is, ever since my father died, and his people took everything we had from my mother, that was when our problems started. I struggled to hug things. I struggled to hug things and go to school at the same time. It was very horrifying to know that one day I'll be a dropout. I begged God to send me someone to help me. The devil sent Frank. Tell me, when will something good happen to me? <laughs> it's not the end of the world, if, you, if God can feed the birds in the sky that fly and don't have wings. Yet they sing happily every day. How much more you? Hmm? <laughs> you too. Hello, Elvis. Good day. Are you alright? I don't think she's in a good mood to talk to anybody. Maybe you should come back. No, it is a problem. A problem. Can't you say I'm not in the mood to talk? You people should just leave me alone. Hmm. It's about Frank, right? How do you know about Frank? So it's about Frank, isn't it? I spoke with your friend the other time I was here. Tell a stranger about my affair. No, 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 please. Don't blame her. It's all my fault. Just take it out on me. I forced it out of her. You know, I, I feel if you're not happy, I should show concern towards making you happy again. Why? Do you know me? You don't know me either. Didn't she tell you I helped fetch some water for you guys the other time? Thank you, but that doesn't mean you know me. Hmm. You see, the last time I saw that guy threw you out of his car in that manner, I concluded you were a prostitute. I saw in you a girl who needed help, and that was my concern. I feel if money is the problem, I could give you money and give you a new life. You mean I looked like a prostitute on that day? Look, only a prostitute will allow a man treat her in that manner because of money. I asked your friend to tell me all about Frank because I noticed you were unhappy. Listen, Evelyn. It's over now. You don't need a guy like Frank around you. He doesn't even deserve a pretty and intelligent girl like you. What will I do? What will I do? I don't have anybody. And I owe him so much. Listen, you don't owe him anything. And yes, you have somebody. Me. Okay? 
You don't know how deep Frank and I went. Look, no matter how deep a hole is, a bird must fly out. I have a sister like you. She's over in New York studying. And that's where my mother and all the two siblings are. I don't know. I don't know if you would like to join them in the States to finish your studies. What do you mean by that? I am a career diplomat. As a matter of fact, I'm the deputy assistant to the Nigerian ambassador to the United States of America. My name is Philip Agawa. So, maybe you should make up your mind. If you really want it, I could arrange for you and the rest of your family to relocate to the States. Oh, God. It's all right. Take it easy. Have it because to be happy now. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, wipe your tears. Your days of sorrow are over. <laughs> get out! Get out! Get out of my house! I say get out, my friend! Get out! Something that happened two weeks ago. What kind of eye service is that? It's now you pull out woke up to see how stupid everything is. Ah, uh, it's, it's okay, man. Ah, it's, 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 why, why is it? No, 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 I want to hear what Paul has to say. Paul, what do you have to say? My son, we came here not to fight, but to thank you for all the good things you have done for us. What Ceylon cannot escape. Don't thank me. Please, madam, just stop this, you're acting. Kusia, Kusia, now, 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 now. Kusia, what kind of eye service is that? Ah, I've seen this thing is planned work. Yes, you people must make arrangement to leave my house. That house I'm paying for today. My yes. Son. These things are on both sides. Eh? Think of all the insults and humiliations you have, you, you, you have given to her eh? and us. Notwithstanding, you know, we still thank you all the same. I must leave my uh, house. <clears throat> Go ahead. Leave my house. This is the key to the house and uh, your shop. <clears throat> Yeah, I asked for the goods your friend supplied me two weeks ago. Um, uh, here's the 300,000 naira. I don't think I'm interested in the business anymore. Thank you. Amal, let's go. Amal, let's go. Paul. Nothing Madam, is relax. Paul, relax. Madam, relax. Good day, Frank. Relax. Madam, relax. Jerome, Madam. Just because. You're doing something good to someone Just because you're helping someone Gladys, Gladys Oh no, it's been some time, right? You don't even ask for me anymore, eh? Life is not like that, eh? So, uh, how are you? Mm, fine uh, uh, This is Evelyn, eh? No Wait oh, uh -huh. Talking to you so, where has she gone to? Because uh, I, I, I need to see her. Evelyn is on her way to the airport. Maybe if you hurry up on time, you'll be able to meet her and give her. Bye-bye. Airport. Bye-bye. Please, 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 wait, wait. So, uh, what did she go to the airport to do now? <laughs> what did they at the airport? Airport is where airplanes land. And I hope you remember what an airplane is, don't you? What, what kind of question is that? Good. One of them will be taking Evelyn and her family to New York, that is, United States. Please wait, uh, um, Gladys, uh, you're, you're, you're joking, right? I mean, this is a joke. Maybe you're the joke. Mr. Have a nice day. Just because you're doing something good to someone, just because. You're helping someone out. Just yeah. me, you were um, Please, uh, these people that live at this uh, down flat. Uh, uh, Mama Evelyn. Mama Evelyn. Uh, yes, uh, uh, have you seen them? <laughs> there are no more here now. In the fact that, I think nearly two weeks ago. To where now? I learned that uh, she and the children, they are traveling to America. I do today or very soon or so. 
True, true. There's a big party here now. Big party. I, 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 are you serious? <laughs> I just told you what happened. There are no more here. They traveled. Say another two hours. God well, bless you. So that gives us enough time to have some fun, right? And the visa. Just because you're doing something good to someone Just because you're helping someone out Doesn't mean that you are their God For God will help Ooh, He wants to help With or without you Just because you find yourself in a position to help someone, you now feel that without you, they cannot live or exist. But you forget that God helped you so you can be of help to others instead of your proud and your playing God believing that you are 